and gentlemen, and the 3D designers, we're going to do the Holy Grail in Blender Part 3. We're going to sculpt the Grail. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is in Edit Mode, we're going to select the Vertex Select, and we're going to move one or more vertices at a time. What does that mean? Well, first of all, we're going to go like this. We're going to, we, we're going to mess this thing up, and so we probably should make a copy. So let's go into Object Mode, and we're going to click on Control and C to copy and then control and V on the keyboard to paste and it put it in the same spot so then we're going to we're going to move it over and we're going to work on we're going to work on this one right here. Okay, so let's work on that one. All right, so then what we're going to do, let's switch to this mode here. Okay, and we're going to either hit tab or we're going to go into edit mode. And what you can do is so what we what mode we've been in i think i don't know what mode we've been in but normally like we're selecting like whole whole section oh no not that one i think maybe in what have we been in edge loop select yeah so we've been in edge loop select mode and so when you select stuff you select the whole edge loop right but we're going to go into this mode right here and we're just going to select one thing so i'm going to click like let me see here let's say like i want to click on this I'm going to hit shift and I'm going to click on this, this, and this. I'm going to get those, those four vertices and then I can drag those out, right? So I can make, anyway, you can see what it does. It makes changes to it, okay? So that's one way that you can sculpt. So you can play around with that and, and uh, sculpt it if you like. So let's see. It's going to look a little wonky if, when we get the, when we get the, um, the wood texture on it. But at any rate, so we've messed around with our holy grail that way. I'm gonna, I don't like that much. I'm going to press control D. All right. Um, the other thing that we can do, let's go back to our spiel here. The other thing we can do is <coughs> we can sculpt the wrong way. So <coughs> don't follow me on this because I'm doing it the wrong way. I want to show you how not to do it and then I'll show you how to do it. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to in mode we're going to go into object mode. We're going to click on this thing. Okay, so we're we're working on this guy. All right, and then we've got him selected, so we're going to go into sculpt mode. All right, and let's go into, you can play around with, no, not yet. Don't play around with these yet. Hold on. So we can go to inflate. So I'm going to just go here, and I'm going to click, 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 click. It's not, nothing's really happening. Nothing's happening. Why is nothing happening? And you can mess with all these things and change all those settings. Nothing's happening. All right, here's what. Let's go back into this mode. Let's go back into um, let's go back into uh, edit mode. Okay, these things are there's not a lot of vertices. There's not a lot of these things, right? And so when you go when you go to use these tools, not a whole lot happens. So what we need what we need to do is we need to In the edit mode, select edge subdivision. So actually, I think that's why it should be edge and then sub. There should be a little carrot between that edge subdivide. OK, so let's try that. So we've got to get basically we've got to get more vertices. We've got to get more edge loops. OK, so in edit mode, we're going to click edge. And we're going to go, by the way, this is like, this is good because this is low poly and this like, lo, like if you're making games or a movie, this loads faster. Okay. So you kind of want it to be low poly if you, if you can, that was one of the problems with some of the other programs is they like put all kinds of vertices in there and they're just impossible to, they're impossible to actually use in like a video game or a movie. And so this actually will make things load fast and it'll look pretty good. But if we're going to sculpt, we're going to have to go, oh, we're going to have to go. Uh, let's go, let's do this. We're going to go edit mode and then we're going to go object mode and then we're going to go edit mode. Oh, it's back to that same thing. So let's go select all. So we've selected everything. Okay. So we've selected every vertex there, all the, or any, every vertex there, pardon me. So then we're going to go edge and then we're going to go subdivide. Okay, and so now if we go into now that now it's actually going to work. So if we go into sculpt mode and we try to, is it not selected? Object mode select. Let's go into sculpt mode. Will it work? 
doesn't appear like it's selected. Edit mode, select all. Okay, now you can see that it's now you can see it's actually working better. Let's go into this view. So now we can see that the sculpt mode is actually having an effect. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to make it look like like a knobby wood, right? So this one's going to be kind of smooth and nice, but this one's going to look like oh, I I basically cut cut it out of a tree. So I want you what I want you to do is play around with these different sculpting tools, and you can also mess around with these things as well and get this sculpted to look like I said you're cut it out of a, a real tree. All right, let's go back to this real. I think that's I think that's that's it. Okay, yeah, that's it. So the next one, so this will be the third video. We're gonna do one more video after this. Thanks guys.